Hello everybody and welcome back to Scalaris, where we are currently prosecuting this war against the Kreshk Collective here. And I would definitely like to upgrade this Habitat Central Control. Do we have anything else that needs to be worked on job-wise before we get into the war? The answer is no, we do not. Okay, so that sounds great. Now, in terms of these wormholes, we can't do anything about either of them as of yet. And the reason for that is because we don't fully control either of these systems. So that is very awkward, no doubt about it. And I'm wondering if we ever will, because this is going to be occupied by the Manarian Star Dynasty. We'll see. We'll take this up to fastest speed for now. And Striking when are our, or rather where are our armies? Well, we've got one army here, and we're going to jump drive that up to Jolun, and then that'll head to Biesta after that. So that sounds good. Now, up over here, we don't have too much going on. Where was this arm, or where was this combat at? We won in Formalha. Okay. Yeah, that's not a problem. I Walker was a little clear. confused because I thought we already had won that, but apparently not. So that sounds good. We finished up construction of an orbital. That is likely not an issue. Indeed, that is definitely not an issue. So this Striking army is going to come station. over, and we should probably consider giving it a leader. Suzanne Legal here will do. And what else do we need? Well, Butcher 2 would be fine. Neither of these are relevant. And then we can just go for General. Okay, perfect. So that will be absolutely wonderful. And we're just going to continue to push through the Crush Collective as quickly as we can here. So... We need to get Biesta under our control, right? That is kind of mission priority one. We're going to land at Hek Ubanut, and we're going to bring the C.A.R. Newton over to the wormhole here. So we're just going to move here. Perfect. That looks good. And next up, of course, this fleet is going to be heading up over this way. That's absolutely fine. And this fleet is going to be heading up over this direction for now. Yeah, that's okay. It's going to take a little bit before we're actually there. But I want to check in here. 3247 as of right now. Okay. Sounds good. So we are still Walker waiting clear. on our armies to finish up invasions in various locations. Striking but we don't have station. that much of a queue in terms of getting additional, additional planets attacked. What is the strength Planetary at Planetary Incursion now? Initiative successful. Well, they've got two locations here. And this one is at 804, and this one is at 289. Neither of those are particularly spooky. So that sounds good. We finished up landing at Taprib with this fleet. I'm going to move that and join them together with this fleet. So they're just going to make their way up over here for now. By the time they arrive there, we should have Planetary control. Planetary Incursion Initiative. So that looks good. Striking hostile station. Okay, we finished up construction of another orbital, and we don't need to do anything there. We have successfully successfully invaded, and a new species has invaded on, a or rather not invaded, has settled on Azalash Prime. And, of course, they're welcome here, but they gotta be assimilated. Perfect. So that'll be fine. These guys are still here. How are we doing on the other invasion? We're working on it. Okay. We're going to take losses on this invasion, of course. But we should be absolutely fine. So that looks good. Now, up over here, where are you going? You're going here, then up to Brachma. It should be fine-ish. They have a fair amount of forces in the region. We'll keep an eye on that. If this fleet loses, it will at least cause significant damage to them, and we should be able to replenish it very simply with our alloys. So that looks fine. What do we have for minor artifacts right now? 2.7k. Okay. Keeping an eye on the unbidden up over here. That is a larger threat, but we want to get this current war dealt with. So that'll be fine. Okay. We're making reasonably solid progress here for sure. And then we're going to head up to Brachma. Yep. Looks excellent. I want to check down here to see if these guys have finished up at Tabrib yet. They have not. Although it's very, very close. We're heavily hitting their backline here, and there's very little they can do about this. 
Perfect. Yeah, very soon they're going to stop doing damage, and that is excellent. So these guys, where do we want them to go? Well, we've got Fuelia up here, so we could definitely head up there, but they can take this back. We'll keep an eye on that situation, but then we'll head up to Ambor. Now, the forward defense fleet is currently sitting here, right? And I want these guys to land and help out with this. Not that they need help. Planetary incursion okay. initiative. So that looks good. We're now going to combine these together. This should now be fully controlled, and we should be able to lock this wormhole. Can only be placed in systems you control. So apparently, allied systems can't be done. That's awkward. Well, I guess we'll take the forward defense fleet over here then, and we'll take over this. Initializing hostile engagement protocols. Okay. Striking I guess it's fine. Hostile station. A little awkward, to be sure, but it is definitely in the category of fine. So we're going to be attacking Brachma here. We're going to be attacking Jinkath shortly. I want to move these guys. There's no leader here right now. There should be one. You'll do. Okay. And I want to move you over to Jinkath for the time being. It'll take 139 days to get there. That's under incursion initiative successful. So we're going to get over there and we just finished up our invasion at Tefreeb. So now I want to head up to I played here and empty leader slot here as well. Okay. That's fine. We're going to land here assuming that this isn't too strong. 520? No, that's fine. Okay. Sounds good. Initializing hostile engagement protocols. And then these guys, once they arrive here, they're going to invade at Jinkaf. There's both of these locations, and we're going to land here. But we need to control this star base first. So, in we go. That will be absolutely fine. We do have some damaged ships, and it looks like we lost a couple of ships at some point. We can definitely replenish those. Striking hostile Fantastic. station. We're full on consumer goods, and I'm going to sell off a few of them. Looks good. And we're currently fighting up in Brachma. We're probably going to take losses here. But this is absolutely fine. So this fleet can absolutely be reinforced. And from here, do we need to bombard at Kamariv? Probably. No, actually, it's not bad. Okay. Sounds good. So this is the Minarian Star Dynasty up here. Oh, that's awkward. This is the Minarian Star Dynasty. Yeah, they've basically taken over the entire Minarian Star Dynasty. I see. That's where a lot of our war exhaustion is coming from. Okay. We can try to liberate some of this. So we could head up over here, for example. But I think for now, we're going to go up here and try to take out some of these fleets. That'll be absolutely fine. Now, we're probably going to end up fighting the fleet here very shortly. And even if we didn't, I would like to take them out anyway. So that'll be fine. And then these guys, yeah, they're heading there, but these are coming up to I. Initializing yeah, that's hostile fine. engagement protocols. Absolutely okay. So we don't have Ambor under control at this point. And that is definitely something that we need to do. Okay, let's wrap up this fleet. Any moment now. There we go. And we're going to bring these guys over to Ambor. I want to get that under our control. We'll also reinforce this fleet, and we'll be working on repairs as we are in motion due to our Titan. Excellent. So that'll be fine. And we've finished up over here in Jinkath, so I kind of want to... Yeah, we're going to have to head up this direction. Let's head up here for now. And then from there, we could hit up this way. We could start liberating some of the Minarian Star Dynasty. Initiative. That's definitely an option. No doubt about that. Okay, no other fleets are needing reinforcements. That is fine. Station so we're going damage. to hit Ambor here with this guy. So that's actually, we don't need both fleets doing this. We can head up over this direction. 
Wonderful. Now, these guys are just sitting in lieges here, and that's probably okay. We can start bombarding at, like, Heavenly Airy and get this fully occupied. That'll be the mission for right now. For that particular fleet, anyway. So that looks good. And we're going to attack at Ambor very shortly. Have we landed here? We're entering orbit. We need to land. Striking here. hostile station. Perfect. Initializing hostile I'm assuming we have landed protocols. here at this point. Yes. And we're about to take this over. No Commencing problem. Planetary incursion initiative. Excellent. So that looks great. Let's wrap this up. Planetary incursion initiative success. And now we need to go somewhere up over this way with them. So I think going into Ambor is probably the way to go. And we would land right here. How's that? Oh, 289. That's not a problem. Sure. That seems okay. Let's go take back Baidon. And we'll start dealing with some of this stuff up here. We definitely have, like, this half of the Crush Collective under control. We need to get this half. So that'll be fine. But it will take a little bit. Blocker cool. cleared. We are full on our, our minerals at this moment. Let's sell off some of those. That'll be okay. And we do have multiple forces moving into the Minarian Star Dynasty. We don't need to have, like, Striking all of these moving station. in there, but some will be okay. So we're going to head up to Strom here and then Sanapel. Well, this force is going to take this area, and then we should probably take Latheros as well. So there's a little bit of backtracking going on there, but that's okay. We finished up over in Jinkath, and that means, of course, that we should attack here. No problem. And then we'll have to Striking take over Ambor, but station. we are already on our way there. Looks Initializing good. hostile engagement protocols. We do have astral actions available, but we don't actually want any of these astral actions right now, unless we wanted to bring in a fleet, but our naval cap is already up there, right? So I'm not too Mentee concerned about that. We don't have anything in need of reinforcements right now, but it looks like we do have some jobs and some idle construction ships. So that's okay. Let's resettle a pop here over to Azalash. How are we doing on Azalash jobs? Where are you, Azalash? There you are. 17 available jobs there? Okay, that's fine. What else do we have here? So Siggy Prime, we can definitely build an energy nexus on. This is allegedly a research station. For the time being, we're going to put in an astro mining bay. Probably the same story here. Yeah, mineral purification hubs. Seems absolutely okay. Then we've got this mining station, and we could certainly put in an astro mining bay. It's a generator station right now, but we can upgrade our mineral purification hub. On Rebellious, yeah, I think a generator district is the way to go. Here is a generator station. We'll build a robot assembly complex, and we should probably put in an energy grid as well. And that looks like that's it. Fantastic. So this construction ship finished up in a Glomia. So that means that next we should head to, like, here? Yeah, we should head to here. And we should build a Habitat Central Complex. Can we do that over a moon? I prefer to build it over a minor orbital location if we can. Let's see here. No, we cannot. Okay. Well, there we go. That is under control. Cool. So we're going to continue to push through out over this direction. We should be done in Jinkos very, very shortly. Incursion initiative. Incredibly short. Planetary shortly. incursion initiative Fantastic. successful. So this is now fully occupied, and we're going to move up to Brahma. We are going to be landing here at Kamariv, which is 660. Not too bad. Excellent. Striking hostile station. So we're attacking Strom here, getting that Dyson Planetary Swarm constellation away from them. Successful. Nice. And we're also attacking by Don here. Offline. Striking so Kamariv over here exists. We may want to bombard that. Just as soon as this station is gone. Okay. This is still fully occupied, and we'll get there. 
psionic abilities. Mm, okay. Well, that's fine for the moment. Ambor is under control, so let's actually head up here and land at Kama Reef. That'll be okay. Now, I want to head over to Zir, because we're heading up this way with this fleet. This is a fairly large grouping of enemies, though, and maybe we should group these two fleets together at Sanapel in order to fight this and turn things around up on this side. They've definitely progressed through a lot of our vassal states, and we should maybe do something about that. So that's okay for now. And when are these guys going to arrive there? 93 days? Sure, that'll take a little bit. So Senapel is back under control. Sounds good. And we're going to be attacking Poru very shortly. We already have Lathros under control. Mm. FTL inhibited. Okay, it's fine. We'll go around. Wonderful. People are still declaring war on each other, even with the Unbidden up there. Interesting. So how are we doing right now? 2252 reasons. That's much better. No doubt about that. Okay. We do need to get pushed through this little choke point here and get out into this territory. That will be a very useful thing for us. I don't want to spend too much time taking back the Minarian Star Dynasty because we know we're on a clock here with our war exhaustion. So that is definitely understood. There's also Unbidden up this direction, Can and I'd rather not fight them just initiative. yet. We're really not set up to fight the Unbidden, are they? Are we? They're pure shield, I think, if I remember correctly. That may have been changed. No, this is a Hirelings. Hang on. <laughs> I want these guys, the Unbidden. Yeah, they're pure shield and hull. We should do pretty well against them. Commencing planetary But it's still going initiative. to be tough. Okay, these two fleets are ready to go. We're going to head up here. They're going to arrive one day apart. Sounds good. So we've got this fleet here. It's going to attack into Zir. Excellent. Where are our armies right now? Are they all invading? These guys can be embarked. They're down in Biesta. They were just chilling there. Protocols. Okay, so we're going to bring them up over to Latharos. They're not the strongest in the world. These guys are up in Kamariv right now. We're going to group them together. By the time we get up here, that should be good. Planetary incursion initiative success. So in we go here. Striking hostile station. Excellent. And we'll easily defeat this fleet here with the two of our own. So that looks great. Yeah, this will be very, very easily, easily defeated. I don't know if we do it with one, though. One fleet might have been a little bit dicey. But this will be absolutely okay. Planetary incursion initiative successful. Excellent. So we have successfully attacked Kama Reeve. That is this Kama Reeve. There are multiple. And the Crush Collective has come down to Latharos again. Of course they have. I kind of expected that to happen. So this is fine. We're going to make our way into Latharos on this side. So that seems good. Now, this, this army here is going to head up into Brachma. And we're going to arrive there in 35 days. Sounds good. Okay. So this is back under control. And we can split this fleet up. We can have one fleet go up to Delta Pavonis, while the other fleet heads back over this direction and takes back some of this territory. I want to be focused on the Crush Collective, so we're definitely going to need to get down here. No doubt about that. We're at 53% war exhaustion. And we probably took losses in that battle. Yeah, we can get those set up. We'll get those manufactured nice and quickly. Wonderful. Okay, so the CAR Sahara is currently idle. We can colonize this world, which we should do. There we go. And here in Laloria, we're going to need to build some orbitals. So a major orbital here. Major here. This will be a major. And then, is there a minor out over here? Yes, there is. Minor orbital here. Major orbital here. Over this way, we would build a major orbital and a minor orbital. And I think that's it. Okay, so that'll keep the Sahara busy for a bit. We also might have some jobs available here. So there's a mining station here. Absolutely, we're going to want an energy grid and we're going to want a mineral purification plant. 
What else do we need to work on jobs wise? Well, there's a forge world here. We can upgrade our fortress here, I suppose. There's this generator world here that's going to go over to Azalash. And then a factory world here. We have a building slot available. Two affluence emporiums right now. Okay. Feels like a lot. I'm thinking a stronghold. So that'll be okay. And anything else that we need to work on here? Yes. Serious Industrial needs to be resettled over to Azalash. So that'll be absolutely fine. Okay. Back to the war. Unfortunately, these guys have attacked in Brachma, and how do we want to handle that? We're going to land on Kama Reef and just hide our army there. So that'll be fine. Where is our other other army at? Okay, just head to Grauman. Okay, we're going to take this back without any problem. hostile engagement protocols. Yeah, these guys did get grabbed. That's very unfortunate. Four, three, okay. Get in here. 46 days? Sad. We're going to have to retreat these in four days. Get out of there. Initial colonization phase complete. Okay. No ships lost. Sounds good. So, in that case, of course, that means that we've got this this fleet here we can invade with but it's not super strong them coming in this direction is just unfortunate due to our ftl inhibitions it's very very sad but we're absolutely going to come in here and eliminate that fleet so that sounds good we are attacking up in delta pavonis we should win that i believe but they're right in behind us like this that's a little awkward No doubt about it, that's a little awkward. Okay. Well, we have other forces moving around here for now, and that'll be okay. Like I said, even if we lose these battles, Striking it's still a win for us. So I'm not 100% convinced we're going to win this, but it's probably fairly close. We'll see. It is indeed fairly close. But it does look like we're losing this. So I'm going to retreat this force. No, I don't want to rename you. I'm going to retreat that force. And we'll need to deal with this situation, of course. So that was a little awkward, the way they came in behind us like that. But it's okay. It's, it's mostly awkward because they were able to get into our long-range ships. It's unfortunate. But it's not the end of the world. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull one of our fleets that's down here. It's going to be the fourth fleet. I'm going to pull them up to take this back over. So we're going to head up to here. That'll take 216 days to get there. That's fine. This fleet will be back in a similar amount of time. And we'll get that re reinforced at that point. So that sounds good. So Brachma is now fully under our control, and we want to head over to Latheros, and we're going to have to bombard here at this point. Very awkward the way that that FTL inhibitor allowed them to just sneak through our line like that, but, I mean, it's kind of to be expected. Our minor artifacts are currently full. We're going to keep it that way for the moment. Let's see, you're, you're a commander, so we're going to make you 7th Fleet. You're an admiral. Okay. Sounds good. So losing this battle up here, it's not the end of the world. It absolutely is not. This fleet is getting pulled off of our defensive line here. Really our deserve, our reserve force. And we are going to... Available tr leader traits? Okay, the chairman of the mines. Whatever. Sure, that's fine. We are going to be replacing that reserve force with the retreated force. As soon as they show back up, which will be in a while. The real question is, when is our transport fleet going to be back? And the answer is in about two months. So that seems okay. We're going to need them to be up over here. This force has finished its invasion. And I would like it to actually come over to Latheros and land here. It's strong enough to do that. That'll be absolutely fine. And these guys, they can, of course, move on to Maya and then out over this way, like so. 
Okay. Noted. So, we're going to have these guys move down like this, and we're going to continue prosecuting our war on the Crush Collective. So that looks good. And where is our other force here? Yeah, it's going to get there fairly quickly. It's going via the relay network. I feel like it would have been faster. Maybe not. I feel like it would have been faster to take a gateway up to here and then relay network. But maybe it wouldn't have. I don't know. Clearly the game doesn't think that would be faster. So I might be wrong on that one. But that's okay. So, we're attacking multiple locations here, getting these back under control. That looks excellent. What is this? Oh, okay. <laughs> this is not a problem. Not a problem in the slightest. So, we are going to have to do some reinforcement eventually. That is a bunch of unbidden over here. And the unbidden are definitely making gains up over protocols. this direction. No doubt about that. The unbidden are a problem. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to continue our war against the Crush Collective. And once that's complete, then and only then are we going to turn on the Unbidden. You can leave your offerings to the Engagement Gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy McGar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Tommy, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.